Hey, Damon DeMarco here for createx3.com. And one thing I didn't want to forget is giving a shout out to one of our subscribers, SK, who gave us our very first super like here at uh, createx3 on YouTube. Super likes, you can see them down here in the comments section right there. SK, thank you very much for thinking of us. And today I have a bit of an Olivetti mystery for you. Mm -hmm. In a prior video of mine, I don't know why I'm pointing in this direction for a prior video of mine, but in a prior video of mine, a profile of the Olivetti Letter of 32, I may have misled you and I don't want to do that. I pointed out the correct way to set and clear tabs on that machine. Here's a little clip from that video right here. The big red button right here, what does it do? That is your tab key. You push the red button and it slides over to wherever you have set your tabs. It's a tabulation key, that's what it does. So the question next that comes up is how do you set your tabs and how do you clear your tabs? Well, I'll show you. Setting tabs and clearing tabs are all done from the same lever. To set a tab, push up. To clear a tab, push down. Mm-hmm. Suppose you want to set a tab. Hit your space bar until you come to the desired space on the carriage that you want to set the tab. One, two, three, four, five is what I did. Now, use the lever on the left-hand side of the keyboard. Push up, and that will set a tab for you. Five more spaces. Push up. That will set the tab. What if you want to clear those tabs? Very simple. Go to the beginning of the carriage, hit the tab key so that the carriage slides across to the first tab spot. Use the same lever on the side of the typewriter, only this time, instead of pushing up, push down. That will clear the tab. Go to the next tab. If you want to clear this one, take the lever, push down. It's a beautiful, ingenious invention. It's on all Olivetti machines that I've ever seen. The letter of 22, the letter of 32, the studio 44. I love this about them. Well, the other day I was working on my letter of 22, manufactured in 1950 or 52, I forget which one it is, in Ivrea, Italy. And I realized that the setting and clearing of the tabs on at least my letter of 22 is different. On my letter of 22, to set the tabs, you push down. And to clear the tabs, you push up. Take a look. You can see that no tabs have been set here. So let's set one. One, two, three, four, five. Push down. One, two, three, four, five. Push down. Back to the beginning. Tab. Yes. Tab. Yes. Now let's clear the tabs. First tab. Push up. Second tab. Push up. That should clear both tabs. Clearly the letter of 22 and 32 don't exactly work the same, so I began to wonder about the Studio 44, and so I broke that out just to make sure, and here's what I discovered. Here is my Olivetti Studio 44. You can see that I have no tabs set currently. Let's set a tab. One, two, three, four, five. Push up. One, two, three, four, five. Push up. That should do it. Back to the start. Yep, there's the first tab. There's the second tab. Now let's clear them. Go to the first tab, push down. Go to the second tab, push down. Let's check to see if that worked. Well, it sure did. So, what have we learned here today? I'm not really sure. There is some variation, apparently, in Olivetti machines. Check out this chart that I made right here. It's like a logic puzzle. Can we now say that all Olivetti Letter of 22s work this way? I'm not sure. Is it only Olivetti Letter of 22s that were manufactured in a certain year? I don't know. Seems to me that Olivetti at some point reversed that action with the letter uh, 32 and Studio 44, which are at least my models or later models. Check your Olivetti letter of 22, letter of 32, and Studio 44 to see how the tab settings lever works. I would not be at all surprised if to set the tabs on your letter of 22, especially if it was manufactured in the 1950s, to set Set the tabs, you push the lever down, and to clear the tabs, you push up. It would also not surprise me that in latter models, the letter of 32, the Studio 44, and perhaps even letter of 22s that were manufactured after a certain year, that to set the tab, you push up, and to clear the tab, you push that lever down. 
If your Olivetti Lettera 22 sets its tabs by pushing up and clears its tabs by pushing down, would you please leave comments down below? That way maybe we can get to the heart of this and actually see if we can come up with some kind of a rule if such a thing actually exists. Or maybe we can just figure out a little bit of this Olivetti mystery. Olivetti typewriters are great machines. I love mine. I know a lot of people who love theirs too. Tell me whether you're happy with yours. You can do that right in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to hit subscribe, ring that bell, and that way you'll see the videos that I do pretty much every week. Thank you for being part of our community. Again, for createx3.com, I'm Damon DeMarco. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay creative. Hey, Damon DeMarco here. One thing I can say about the computer age is that we're very lucky. We have places like YouTube, which have become these de facto repositories for all sorts of information, how-tos and techniques and all sorts of things. When it comes to typewriters, we have a very generous community here, and I hope you will avail yourself of some of the other videos that I've done about typewriters and that other people have done about typewriters. There's really magnificent resources out there. So if you are just beginning your typewriter journey, you're so lucky because you've got all these resources and people out here who are willing to help you and who love these machines as much as I do and love them, I hope, as much as you are going to love them as well.